It's been seven years since Leica released the M9 full-frame camera, and with the M10, Leica's making the M series even emmier. Based on feedback from its film faithful, Leica made the M10 faster and slimmer, as slim as the analog M7. And it made the viewfinder bigger and brighter, it improved the noise profile, and simplified the operation. Leica did so without sacrificing many of the conveniences of a digital, but it did drop some that are in the M9. The company's view is that the M9 is a workhorse camera, while this one's for the photography purists, who I guess don't want video, a USB connector, or strobe sync connector. To make it possible to see all the important shooting settings while the camera's off, Leica moved the ISO sensitivity control to the top. Though it maxes out at ISO 6400, you can only map one of the higher sensitivity values to the dial at a time. It's got a clever lift-to-turn, retract-to-lock design, though. The M10 retains the removable plate on the bottom which covers the battery compartment and SD card slot. You'll be in there a lot since the battery life is not very good, at least when you're using the optional EVF. I got to spend a few days with a pre-production unit. The viewfinder did seem better to me. I usually have trouble focusing with rangefinders, but this one wasn't bad. I still preferred the optional EVF though, since it magnifies the focus area and offers peaking. One downside is I found it fogging up in our sort of winter weather. The photos look pretty much like any other modern Leicas. One of the nice things is that the JPEGs look exactly like the raw DNGs, which is not true of a lot of other cameras.